Hello friends of vaping, it's not smoking. Today I'm with Ben Weber. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. It's ben Weber. How it's Ben Weber. Ben Weber. <laughs> Bengt is the snooze guy. He knows a lot and for Latin America and Ibero-America, this is totally new. We are talking today with people that have never, some of them maybe hear about this, about nicotine poaches mostly. They have never seen it, they have never used it. So we are talking to, imagine you're talking that know nothing about it. So. The first thing, Ben, yeah. what is snooze and what's the difference between a snooze and nicotine pouches? Okay, uh, luckily I have one of each here. This is a tobacco snooze. It contains grain tobacco, water, salt, flavors and pH level adjusters. And you place it under your lip, your upper lip, they say about snooze, but you might as well put it in your lower lip. Can I, can I destroy one? Sure. Because we are talking with people that have never seen them. So you can place it here. Mm -hmm. So inside what we got, as Ben said, it's grain tobacco. Grain tobacco. And when you put it in your mouth, it starts giving you nicotine. Yes, through the oral mucous membranes. And, and you, you can have it in for, you know, like 60 minutes. It's very economical. Each can comes in 20 pouches. So the normal use in Sweden is about four cans per week. and. The cheapest brand you can buy it for uh, like two US dollars per can. Just to help you to... Yeah. So, tell us about Snooze, where it came from. I, 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 as I understand it's from Sweden and no. it's a very old stuff. No? Snooze came from Latin America. Ah! Yeah. And we don't have it now. See. <laughs> you steal our gold <laughs> and our snooze. No, I, 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 will, I will tell you the story. Uh, for a thousand years, native people in, 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 for example, Cuba and Brazil have used uh, tobacco by snuffing it into their nose and also chewing Rapid. it, I think. Yeah. And when Christopher Colombo Christopher Colon. Christopher Colon. Christopher Colon. Uh, when he came to back from, from the Americas in the end of 1400s, they brought tobacco plants with them. And what happens in Europe is that in the beginning of the 1600s, somebody found out about the old South American habits, what you can do with tobacco. So they were smoking it, which was new, of course, but they also made nasal snuff, which is like that powder yeah. that you put, that you put uh, sniff in your nose. This was very popular in Sweden. Sweden used to have hundreds of tobacco farms farming tobacco that originated from South America. In the end of the 1700s, uh, the nasal snuff, it was mostly for the rich people, you know, the aristocrats, came from France. From, and the ordinary people of Sweden, they also wanted to enjoy tobacco. So somebody came up with the idea that if we add uh, agua, water and salt to the tobacco and we put it under our lip. So I was right, it was made in Sweden. Yes, ah. yes, yes, snooze. The modern snooze was born in the very last years of the 1700s. 
And then a long, long time passed uh, until 1967. Um, my mentor, actually, Professor Kurt Ensel, who was the R&D manager of Swedish Match, came up with the idea that if you put the loose news, the powder, tobacco powder, in a tea bag and place it under your lip, you, you're you doesn't you don't get uh, sort of yes. dir dirty just to explain the people uh, that are seeing us because they have never seen it i was lucky i i was able even yeah. to try it the the real snooze it's like a wet tobacco that yeah. you need to do a little ball and then put it in your mouth and the bad stuff on it it's that it starts going through the mouth <laughs> and you eight little pieces and it's kind of very uncomfortable yeah. especially when you're using it for the first time for me it was not no, a very nice experience i do not recommend loose snooze for for beginners because this is uh, very much hygienical and uh, it is absolutely spit free you've seen perhaps uh, united states tough guys chewing tobacco <laughs> spitting all over the place. You don't spit with this. You just swallow like normal and you don't get any hiccups or whatever. But uh, 50 years ago, some my mentor, <laughs> Professor Kurt Ensel, invented the, the, the bag. We call it a pouch. Some call it sachet. Uh, and from then, this, the first brand of portion snooze came out in 1973. And today, if we look at Sweden, almost 100%, 95% of all snooze is sold in, in, in portions. Some people will think, why they are talking about snooze if it's this a channel of vaping and harm reduction? Sweden, it's the country of Europe with lowest rates of lung cancer. And, we that's, and that's because in Sweden, people don't use to smoke. You have the lowest rate of smoking, yeah. but a lot of people use snooze. That's right. And we have been using snooze for, for like I said, for tradition for 200 years. When the portion snooze came, Snooze started to become more popular than smoking. And today, Sweden has the lowest smoking uh, rate of all Europe. Only 5% are smoking daily in Sweden now. And about 25% of the men are using snooze or these uh, modern nicotine, nicotine pouches. Yes. Let's let's tell the people. Ah, first, I, I was going to ask you um, the normal snooze barely disappear. It's like uh, the, the loose snooze that you have to bake yeah, yourself. It's only five percent of all snooze sold of all of snooze is users. Loose. From that twenty percent, five percent of that twenty percent use the loose snooze. No, no, 5% of, of all sales of all snooze. Oh, okay. So if, if you have 25% using snooze, uh, you have maybe 2% of, of, of that, 5% of that. Okay. And how many people have switched, even if we haven't explained yet what it's uh, the nicotine pouches? Do we know how many people switch to nicotine pouches? <sighs> The, uh, the number, it, already 10 years ago, the sales of snooze was higher than the sales of cigarettes. As of today in Sweden, those who are still smoking uh, are mostly from, we, you know, we have a lot of immigration and coming from Middle East and so on. Those, they have a higher smoking rate. But um, smoking became almost vanished already started. No, no, no. My question is, from that 25%, do we know how much it's snooze and why much, how much it's 
quite snus? Oh, I see, I see. Snus is still the most popular uh, brand uh, among men. The, the tobacco-free nicotine pouches are now more popular with women, but it's growing. And I think within three, four years, the, the nicotine pouches without tobacco, I am sure it will exceed uh, the snooze sales. Let's go to explain to people what is the white snooze or nicotine pouches. Yes, uh, I'm, I'm going to show you. You have shown the, yeah, the brown tobacco it. in this one. And don't worry, in this one I got my own, so we will destroy mine of ones. Mine, <laughs> one okay. of mine. We can, t we can use yours. So to be cheering yes. the damage. Yeah. <laughs> so we have this one that, as, as the people can see, one, it's bigger actually, but also it has the tobacco inside. Yeah. And this one, you can explain, Brent, what it's inside yeah. of this one. Instead of tobacco, they, these products are more or less identical, but the tobacco content has been exchanged for plant fibers coming from, for example, a popular vegetable in your country, maize, uh, corn fibers, uh, cellulose fibers. There we have that, the two uh, different ones. So yeah, one. here's with tobacco snooze and here is tobacco-free nicotine pouches. And in this one, as Ben said, this one have only fibers and nicotine? No, this one has tobacco, tobacco. water, salt, flavors, pH adjusters. This one has exactly the same as that, but you replace the tobacco, tobacco with, with plant fibers. But this one have nicotine added because plant yes, fiber doesn't you ha have it. You have to add the nicotine. Normal snooze has nicotine in itself. In itself. Yeah. Okay. And first, what's the difference of damage done to the person that is smoke compared to tobacco snooze? There has been a lot of studies about this, and, and the most recent one was, it came two years ago by Merkit et al., uh, American, uh, saying that normal snooze is about 97% less harmful than smoking. And on the same study, they concluded that tobacco-free nicotine pouches is about 99.5% less harmful than smoking. I don't want to go that far, but I'm not a scientist, but if a scientist said that it's 99.5, yeah. <laughs> yes. it's kind of actually none. Just, yeah. just to All, say that, I will, I will give almost the none. The small, small difference between traditional snooze with tobacco and tobacco-free nicotine pouches is I mean, we're talking more or less decimals. Uh, yeah. But talking about something that it's 99.5% yeah. less harmful than smoking. than smoking, it's amazing because no. it's barely disappearing, no. the damage. Nobody has ever died from either snooze or nicotine pouches in history, whereas 8 million people die from smoking each year. And like year. 300 years past. Yeah, 200 years. Snooze. So it's quite safe. And as I said, I must tell to the people that it's looking at our program that I have tried the snooze. I was lucky, not snooze, nicotine pouches, and they really work. They really, really work. It's not like uh, uh, maybe they will work when you use nicotine pouches. It really, really disappeared the um, wanting to vape. I don't know because I, I could say it disappeared the willing to smoke, but I was not smoking anymore for very long time thanks to the vaporizers. I and I must tell a secret, Brent. For making this kind of interviews, 
I use a snooze, so I don't <laughs> bathe. So actually in Same this here. moment, I'm Same. having a nicotine pot and they really, really work. That, that's the advantage. Uh, I'm, today is Saturday, right? And we are in Warsaw, Poland. Saturdays, I, I also vape. At the same time, I'm using snooze. And this is perfectly okay because this keeps me totally away from, from smoking. I, I quit smoking many years ago. So I enjoy a vape as well. That's a bite. Yeah. Um, it's kind of weird to know that this product that reduces that amount of damage to the people that smoke, it's buying in most part of Europe. Yes. What do you think about that? Why it's that? It's totally, uh, it, it is totally political because we have massive evidence dating back 50 years proving that snooze is so much more, uh, less harmful than, than smoking. If we look at the United States, just three years ago, the Food and Drug Administration approved eight brands of snooze as the first ever modified risk tobacco product, which means they can advertise snooze as something which is far less uh, harmful than smoking. Um, the first product in history that got this award was Swedish news. But on the other hand, some countries in Europe are opening to have nicotine pouches. One, it's Poland. When I came here the first time in 2019, yeah. in Poland, the white snooze was forbidden. You couldn't find it. I actually knew about the nicotine pouches because of you and Atakan, yeah. also an activist of snooze and nicotine pouches. But now in Poland, you can find a snooze and not only, not only nicotine pouches, very good quality of nicotine pouches, I must say. Yes. So we it's, are advancing. It's spreading. Uh, snooze can only be sold in Sweden within the European Union because we have a permanent exception. Snooze is also sold in Norway. The rate of smokers of young Norwegian women is now down to one, uno, one percent. That's something nice to know. Chile have very high rates of um, smoking. We are one of the biggest smokers as a whole country in yeah. Latin America. But when it came to females, we are the first one. With 37% of female smoking, it's more than one every three females. Wow. And I don't know why. It's something that maybe later the studies will reveal what's <laughs> wrong with that. Normally females, the amount of men that switch to vaping, it's quite high, yeah. but females are kind of reluctant to, to switch hmm. and they keep, they are, they are still in very high levels of smoking. Of smoking. So, so it's nice to know that uh, on females, this kind of stuff work very well. I'd like to, uh, while you're listening, hi, hello there, South America. Uh, there are several advantages with both snooze and nicotine pouches as compared to, to uh, smoking, uh, of course, the health issue, but also compared to vaping because you go to a restaurant, nobody will know uh, after your dinner, you might put a snooze or two in, Actually, they don't know that we are having a snooze now. No, we, we do, we do. Shall I we? will tow it, but it will be kind of <laughs> awkward. All right. But trust me, it's true. Same thing with uh, nobody goes outside the office or the factory in Sweden to smoke. We enjoy the nicotine while we are working. Even people, you know, operating 
brain surgeons operating your brain. They might have a snooze in while they are doing it because it doesn't disturb anybody else. And like I said before, it's quite economical. Yeah, it is. Because one pouch lasts you for one hour. I must disagree on that, at least in my experience. I don't know why. I think that's... I don't know why you always said that, because it's a way long more than one hour. For me, I can have one nicotine pouch two hours and right, but maybe after, more. After 60 minutes, you, the nicotine uh, begins to reduce. Of course, you can have it two hours. So it yeah. will still taste good. And it comes in, in hundreds of flavors. Yeah, that's true Everybody also. Everybody can find a flavor they like. Actually, the one that I have today, that it's from 77, that it's a yeah. Polish brand, po that it's super good. I must say that we are not uh, getting money from them or anything. No, I, that have, I know the owner. Yeah, but they are super good and they have a lot of uh, nice products. And this one is from Strawberry. Strawberry, right. Strawberry, but there is with apple and mint. Uh, Forest Apple, fruits and menthol. Black currant. You have you have also tobacco flavor, Cola. of course. Menthol, uh, lemon, grapefruit. Uh, any. The only flavor I never seen is banana, but I don't think. I don't think. I don't think fit. it would be popular. No. <laughs> well, bent. Um, the times ended, but I need to make you a question that it's not connected with snooze, but vaping, it's smoking? Vaping is smoking? Yeah. No, of course it's not smoking. Yeah, it's not. So I want to thank you to give your time to our campaign that it's vaping, it's not <laughs> smoking, and a snooze, it's not smoking too. I really hope that this conversation helped the people in Ibero-America uh, to learn more about other products that can save lives even with less risk than vaping. Yeah. You have been fighting for very long for snooze and I really appreciate your work and keep it on because you have spread the word of snooze for many, many years. Muchas gracias. And uh, if you go to Europe or uh, North America, Check out these products and if you are a smoker, you will find it is very easy uh, to quit smoking. Maybe by help of a vape as well, because then you are covered when you go on airplanes or, or whatever. Or the cinema. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ben. It was a pleasure to have you and keep uh, the good work. Likewise. <laughs>